So your next question. Yeah, ne next question has to do with the, um, the violence. As, um, obviously, watching it from this distance, you're seeing a fairly balanced coverage. You're seeing, I mean, I mean, it pretend to be balanced. You know, in the name of being balanced, you're seeing coverage of very massive, peaceful protests, people having human chains across, you know, across the entirety of Hong Kong. Um, but you also see um, people throwing Molotov cocktails. You see an occupation of the airport that shut down transportation. Um, I'm thinking how long uh, that kind of action would last at LaGuardia um, before it was pretty physically broken up. Um, you're seeing um, defacement. Um, you wrote an interesting column recently about defacement of the Chinese um, offices, um, uh, occupation of government buildings. I guess the question is that, um, how much uh, for then then obviously the reports of you say of the um, of the uh, excessive uh, police um, response um, and um, is there any way you can maybe just give us a sense of what it's what's really what it's really like on the ground um, the first on the one hand both in interest in both in your perspective the police violence is it in any way justified um, our policemen are policemen getting attacked and responding? Does it seem unprovoked? Does it, uh, uh, it seem unprovoked? And um, what uh, are the police assaulting protesters and journalists? Well, well I mean, uh, there's uh, certainly been plenty of evidence of, of assault on, on bystanders and on journalists, as well as, of course, on people who are obviously more active, wearing masks and helmets and so on. Uh, Obviously, there is a sort of a hardcore, I don't know what percentage of, of uh, uh, it is, who, you know, are very angry and prepared to take risks um, throwing Molotov cocktails. I, I would point out, though, that uh, a Molotov cocktail is a very useless weapon. It uh, makes a lot of show, um, but uh, often inaccurate described in, uh, in media reports as, uh, as petrol bombs. You know, a, a Molotov cocktail will never explode. It will merely burn. Um, and there, there is a big difference. And this explains why, to the best of my knowledge, uh, not a single policeman has actually suffered any s severe injury at all. Uh, but many demonstrators have been uh, you know, beaten or uh, hospitalized as a result of bullets, and uh, rubber bullets and um, tear gas canisters. And, uh, I, yeah. I mean, I, I, I think the perhaps the point is it's reaction, you know, action and reaction. Yeah. And uh, um, you know, where do you stop this? Well, um, I'm sorry if this goes a bit beyond. No, 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 but no, no, I mean, no. how uh, how should a government be responding? Yeah. You know, obviously uh, you you do have to keep public order and so on. Uh, but also, this is a political issue. Why is it that nobody? I mean, the government has failed. That's obvious. I mean, even uh, Carrie Lam admits failure. And the, why is she still there? Why is no government official has been sacked or forced to resign? Nothing has changed. Absolutely nothing. And you get, uh, uh, you know, members of the so-called executive council. Uh, one of them will say, well, there's nobody to negotiate with. Well, sorry, you don't need to negotiate. You just need some political uh, action which... Uh, makes people realize that you do recognize that some things have gone wrong. Uh, so I guess the, second, the last question. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I guess the last question. About yeah. Uh, and, and, um, so, you know, then there needs to be an agenda on the part of government. And, you know, you have an executive council, mm -hmm. which, let's say, consists of people who either say there's no one to negotiate with, uh, that's in the case of Mr. Uh, Chan, the, uh, the Bangkok bank uh, person. Um, or in the case of uh, Fanny Law, it's all because 14-year-old uh, girls are, are giving away their virginity to, um, uh, to the demonstrators. That, uh, uh, this is the kind of level of, of, of uh, incompetence that you find in the, in the Executive Council. So, you know, you, you just don't have any kind of political response um, to what is obviously um, a, a movement which goes quite deep. And it's so that's going to be the, that's going to be our last question. Um, I'm going to get to the, that um, how, how resolving. I want, I, I want to echo one thing about the police brutality. Yeah. 
I talked to the youngster in my team from the 20s to 30s. Some of them went back to Hong Kong. What they say exactly work to work is they're angry. This is no return about the police. You can see that, I don't know, emotional problem or whatsoever, but you can clearly see in the Yunong incident, in the Chunwan instance, the gangster came out and they beat the civilians on the train. And they physically, they are not arresting them for anything, but just saying they have the illegal gathering. And they physically did not really arrest the people already on the camera. So this is getting them much more anger and then slowly roll it out. By the way, is any, is, does anybody yet know who these... Of course, they, they all have the, all no. the journalists were there, they have their picture. No, no, and exactly, they're gonna, no who exactly are they? They are, they are the gangster that from Yunong, from those like local people who live there. A lot of them, they, they plan it. We have their, we, like WhatsApp, they have their message, they have the name, they even know where they live, and they only arrest few of them. Out of the 30 or 40 people that who, one of Gwyneth was like a famous journalist from Stan News, was beaten up. Like in the Yunong station, she was broke. Her shoulder was dislocated, and uh, she's a journalist. And that, these, that's are, how these are um, Hong Kong Super China patriots, or are yeah. they in? Work yes, the the local people live in the new territory. They're more patriotic because they they said that this is they own their own little land. They can build their little three story house, and so they have seat in Lachco. They actually vote between themselves. Okay, and so. That's those that make the people very angry that the police now cannot be trusted. It's different from NYPD here. We have individual cases like what you discussed with me before, but this scale is way beyond that.